Welcome to class. It's nice to see all your smiling faces. If you will, click on the chat button in the bottom middle of your screen. It should open up the chat panel to the right. If you have any questions, chime in and I'll try to address them as soon as I can. Uh, you can text me as well. My number is 209-347-0636. Be sure to start your text with your name and period so that I know who I'm talking to. On this first day, I feel it is especially important for us to get to know one another. So we're gonna be drawing some portraits. Uh, maybe you've never drawn a portrait before. Don't worry. One of my favorite quotes is, anything worth doing does not have to be done perfectly the first time. Why don't you write that down? I'll put it on the screen here. As we draw these portraits, I want you to practice a few tips for a successful drawing. The first tip is to draw lightly. Seems basic, right? But it's the most common mistake. Write that down. Draw lightly. This means barely touch the paper with your pencil. You can darken things in later at the end, but don't worry about it. Drawing lightly makes it possible for you to correct things without having to erase. It's a huge time saver. The second tip is to think in terms of simple, basic shapes. Okay, so I'll have you write that down as well. Put down, uh, you know, start with basic shapes. Okay, so as you do your observation of whatever it is you're trying to draw, you know, think in terms of whether it's a circle, a square, triangle, and how those edges work. Okay, so like life, it's easy to get distracted by details. And if you're thinking about the big picture, you won't become overwhelmed and it will bring a sense of calm over you. This is a drawing class, people. I want you to relax. There's a time and a place to be perfectionist, but it will only cause you grief if that's your only goal. Today's goal is just to experiment and try something new. Write that down because I want you to be successful. Just put experiment and then put perfectionism and just put a cross through it. Uh, so you're gonna be drawing everyone's face who is in the Zoom chat. Maybe the easiest way to start this is by taking a screenshot. Um, if you're not familiar with how to take a screenshot on a Chromebook, um, it's pretty simple. You're gonna go down to the control key down in the bottom left of the keyboard, hold down control, and then at the top of your Chromebook keyboard, you'll see a box with uh, like three vertical lines, okay? And that's kind of up in the middle top of the keyboard. And so by depressing control and then hitting the box with the lines, uh, you will then be able to take a screenshot. So what you can do is you can enlarge the face of the person on Zoom, okay, and then take a screenshot, save it, okay, and then move on to the next person. Or maybe what I'll do is I will post these over in the panel. Uh, we'll see, but we can start by doing the screenshots. So here's some tips. If you're drawing a face, there are a lot of different face shapes, but they, are all, they aren't all ovals. Okay, for example, the guy who plays football has a square face and maybe the dancer has a longer pointier oval face. Um, it's important to make some initial observations before getting started. So try not to rush into things. Take a minute, make some initial observations and ask yourself, what shape is this? person's head. Uh, where are their eyes oriented on their face? Okay, are they up here? You know, are they in the middle, etc.? How wide is their nose in relationship to their lips? And etc. Okay, so you'll be wanting to ask yourself some questions as you're doing these observations, uh, so that you can then get an accurate, accurate representation of what that person's face looks like. I'm going to ask you that you challenge yourself to try and draw realistically. Uh, we will be doing a lesson on cartooning in a few weeks and anime characters are cool, but they're what's called a stylized version of the face. Uh, no one here on Zoom really looks like an anime character or a cartoon. I get it. They look kind of like people, but it's a stylized version. Uh, so you're going to make an attempt to get your portrait of each person looking realistic. Uh, here's some examples, you know, and of course I've got the contrast between the anime face and then I've got sort of more of a realistic version. Okay, so I also I'd like you to keep in mind that the portraits you're going to be drawing, if you can kind of keep them in the range of like you know ten to twelve minutes, maybe you're going to maybe you're going to have to set the timer on your phone, or maybe you've got an egg timer in your kitchen or whatever. Um, but you don't want to be spending too much time on like one face, otherwise you will not be able to draw everybody in the class. So keep that in mind. We have to be realistic about what's actually possible and perhaps what the outcome is going to look like. Uh, but try your best to make, make good observations and then see if you can accurately then draw what you see there in front of you. Okay, and again, I just wanna you know, reiterate and summarize what I said before. Start with light lines, okay? Think about basic shapes. 
And also down in the bottom left corner of your paper, I would like you to write the name of the person who it is you're drawing, okay? As artists, you should know that the your name, okay, the artist's name is always gonna be down in the right corner of the paper. Uh, and like I said, the name, the art, the subject of the model of your portrait is gonna be featured down in the left side. All right, so uh, keep that in mind. Also for this class, I would like you to find just a basic cardboard box. Okay, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, but what I'd like you to do with this box is I would like you to keep all of your work in it. So as you complete these portraits, place it in the box. You know, as you work on maybe some of the note taking or some of the other assignments, I'd like you to keep it in the box as well. So be on the lookout for a good box that you can store maybe under your bed or somewhere where you can find it and it's safe. Uh, it won't get ruined by the dog, et cetera. Okay, so this Zoom meeting will remain open for the rest of the period and I'll be answering questions and I will also pop in to check in on your progress. I'm so glad to have you in class today. I wish you all the best. I'm here to support you. And if you have any questions, you know, just text me on my phone or start a conversation in the chat panel of the Zoom, or you can always email me. Uh, you can even call me here at the school. This is where I'm broadcasting. My number is 209-742-742. 0260 extension 207. I would love to hear from you. All right. Good luck.